this side Kashish Karan Mal from Dev Town and welcome to our channel so in this video I will give you a very brief overview of Python I will like tell you that what was the history of Python how it was invented and the basic features of Python which makes it different from the other programming language that are available and I will give you a very brief overview I will tell you everything about Python that for the basic you need so now let's begin the history of python because knowing the history is also very important for all of us because the history is also sometime matter for the other examinations like you appear for the competitive exam so there are very basic questions so now let's begin with the history of python so as you can see in the background so the inventor of python who invented is the, the name is Guido van Rysom. basically he belongs to Netherlands so Python was created by Guido van Rysom and the first release on February 20 1991 while you may know the Python as a large snake the the name of the Python language comes from the old BBC television comedy so basically its name Python is a denoted to the python's flying circus there was a circus name python's flying circus so from where this language got its name the its uh, history is also very interesting so now coming to the features of python which makes it different from the other programming language that are available so as you know python is a high level language so now what this high level stand for a high level language is any programming language that enables development of a program in a much more user friendly programming context so it makes uh, it makes the language more user friendly okay and it's a very simple language beginner friendly language anyone can learn python from a scratch python is an open source language so you don't have to pay anything for using python you can simply download it from the like browser or any search engine and apart from it the python supports gui programming also and now what is this gui programming so i will give a very brief overview of and gui program has the following structure so like you can create the icons and widgets that are displayed to a user and organize them inside a screen window like it's gave a user graphical user interface so what this gui stand for graphical user interface it has a large standard library you know there are thousand of library present in python so this is a key feature of python because a programmer wants a or a language which includes all the library it is an expressive language and python is an object oriented language so learn now what is this object oriented language the simplest way to explain object oriented programming is to is to a kid is to use something like a car as an example a car has a model name a color a year in which it was manufactured an engine site and so on and python is a interpreted language so like you can execute and edit the program in the run time it is platform independent okay so these are the some key features of python and now let's move forward for the use cases for which python is used so python is used in data analysis software testing is also done with the help of python educational purpose like you may be familiar with that that cvsts and the another education groups has included the programming so python is also used in the this platform also like for the school kids so this is a very added advantage and machine learning task can also be done with python web scrapers programming devops administration this is very useful thing for in the today's world so devops and system administration can be also done with the help of python web development web development is also done with the help of python and now coming to the point like what are the different frameworks of python so there are many frameworks of python like cherry pi and flask django and pramit and among these framework flask and django these two are the most famous and used framework and some like it giants are saying that flask and django will be the future 
that the future will let us know but the saying for the people are this only because the feature these framework allows is very like good okay now coming to the next point like how python can be used for the data science so python has different role in the data science so you can solve problem statement with the help of python in data science data acquisition can be done with the help of data python in data science data processing is done with the help of python data exploration you can do with the help of python model selection and deployment so these all are the key features of python which can be help you in the data science and apart from it the python if you learn python in a good scale in the field of data science and you can get a very good paying job in india so these are the some basic features of python i hope that you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel tap down thank you have a good day